Hi guys, my name is Keith Petrie and I'm the community manager for GenJuice. I'm located right outside New York City in beautiful New Jersey. I'm joined by Virgilia in Washington, D.C., a co-founder of GenJuice. And we're both here to introduce a new shenanigans video series, East vs. West. We are challenging the West Coast members of our team, Ariel, Danielle, Brenton, and Gleb, to justify why they believe their coastline is better than ours. To start off, here are three reasons why Virgilia and I believe the East Coast wins. First and foremost, bagels. If you haven't had a bagel from the East Coast, especially especially New York, then your taste buds haven't even experienced. All right, so two more reasons why East Coast beats West Coast. And I know Arielle and Danielle are going to call me posters because I just moved from Cali. But there are there's a reason to why I did so, and that's primarily networking and, well, transportation. So I'll go with transportation first. It's so easy to get from, you know, New York to D.C. or from New York to Boston, etc., as opposed to California or Arizona or anywhere else in the West Coast where you have to wait and wait to even get any taxi to get a bus. If Metro exists, then that's great. But at least over here, we can. it's dependable, and you know that you can get from point A to point B without waiting for an hour or two. Secondly, networking. We all know San Francisco is a huge hub for, for startups and for venture capitalists, but it's so saturated now that everyone wants to go there. So why not go to the East Coast since it's booming, it's emerging. It's an emerging market for startups and for you know incubators that are looking to grow and looking to find new ideas, and that's why, again, East Coast beats West Coast.